thank you to the Egg Communicators Network for honoring me with the Lifetime Achievement Award. It was really a surprise and it's such an honor to receive this. A sunny day. My career probably started when I grew up on a farm in Northwest Iowa. I was actually Farmer Brown's daughter from Iowa, you know, corn, soybeans, cattle, and hogs. And then I went off to South Dakota State University. After I graduated in um, mass communications, I came back to Lamar's, Iowa and worked on the Daily Sentinel for probably two and a half to three years where I was farm editor. From the Sentinel, I um, met up with John Burns somewhere along the line at a hog meeting, and he hired me to come to Minneapolis, the big city, and work um, at Miller Publishing on Hog Farm Management Magazine, which sounds rather gloomy, but it was a wonderful time. They encouraged me, John Burns and Dave Halsey was working there at the time, um, encouraged me to join or come to AAEA. And when I went to that first national meeting, I thought, wow, this is where I belong. I just remember it was just a wonderful, eye-opening experience and something I wanted to be a part of. So from then on, I've been to uh, just about every single meeting. The AAEA has been played a big role in my life. From Miller Publishing, I then drew the hog connections. I was offered a job at the National Pork Producers Council in Des Moines, but they were looking for somebody to improve their communications out to the out to pork producers to show their value. So they wanted me to come on staff and start a magazine as well as a couple other publications. Um, from there, I got married and moved to Cedar Falls, Iowa, where there wasn't a lot of job op opportunities except at the time Farm Journal um, hired on a freelance basis. But that was a, a way I was able to stay involved, have, have children and, um, and further my career. And I was still a part of AAEA. So I did that with Farm Journal and had some wonderful um, folks. I got to know Dean Houghton. After 10 years, then I was ready to go back into the workforce full time and Dale Miller was looking for a managing editor at National Hog Farmer. So I was ready to um, move to Minneapolis with the family and I started working for Dale, whom I'd known ever since I started writing on Hog Magazine. So um, I worked with Dale for five years. From National Hog Farmer, I went to work on Farm Industry News and that's where I stayed until 2013 when I um, went full-time freelance writing again. I've worked with some great people, most of them through contacts in AAEA and Egg Media Summit. So um, it's been a great career and I'm still doing some freelance writing. To stay open to new technology. What we've seen throughout our career has been unbelievable. I think just be open to it um, go with it. Stay current and follow what your kids are doing. It's been a wonderful life I'm interviewing so many different people in agriculture. I have to think there's been thousands and thousands of people that I've talked to and so many of them have had such interesting, wonderful things to say and I'm still enjoying it and uh, enjoy writing about farming. So I hope to all of you out there that you enjoy your job as much as I have enjoyed mine. It's been a lifetime that I feel really blessed to have had. This career has been just wonderful.